Why did Berlin freeze the rent prices as opposed to letting the market set the price? This Euronews article tells us about the Berlin freezing of rent prices. Berlin is freezing the rents of 1.5 million apartments for the next five years starting this Sunday in a controversial move to control the exploding costs that have forced many to move outside Germany's capital city. This seems to be a rather strange decision in a free market. While the article does not specify the underlying cause of the rising prices, I expect to be related to more and more high-income people come to work in Berlin, new residential building are too few compared to the number of persons who want to live in Berlin. Clearly capping the rent prices does not seem to tackle the causes above and I am wondering what the authorities hope to achieve with this. Question. Why did Berlin freeze the rent prices as opposed to letting the market set the price? The market was presumably setting the price. Before. The rent freeze, and this had effects that some Berliners considered undesirable. The article describes what some of those effects were. In recent years, rents have skyrocketed, pushing middle-class families from Berlin's central residential neighborhoods like Mitte or Prenzlauer Berg to the outskirts. Even traditionally working-class and immigrant neighborhoods like Neukölln or Kreuzberg have become so gentrified that long-time tenants can no longer afford the rising rents. In addition there is an overall housing shortage in Berlin, which makes it even more difficult for newcomers or those who get pushed out of their homes due to the rent spike to find new, affordable living accommodations. In short, people who have lived in Berlin for a long time, and who are not rich, are losing their homes to people who can afford to pay more. Or maybe they can barely afford to stay in place, but have no money left for anything else. Either way, they're not happy about it. There were substantial protests last year. The next question is, why has the Berlin government chosen to listen to these unhappy people? Partly it is because these people are voters, and elected officials want to keep their jobs. Partly, in the left-wing parties, there is a philosophical belief that the desires of renters to keep a roof over their heads, to remain in a strong and familiar community, are more important than the desires of landlords to make a profit. I have also heard a practical argument, if only rich people can afford to live in the city, who will fill the lower-paid jobs? I'm not sure if that specific argument has been used in Berlin, but it has been used in other cities. Also, I am not commenting on whether or not that argument is correct, plausible.